Howdy you wonderful people! Check it out! Wonderful modulation machines by Railton! And um, an amplifier and also an overdrive pedal which just sounded sublime as you heard on that track. By the way, the track was very, very, very much inspired by Rick Beato's video um, breaking down the Alanis Morissette song You Ought To Know. Hence the little bit of inspiration from that track. You might have heard it. But these actually made it possible to create all of those wonderful sounds. So I'm going to go through each one because, you know, I can't go through everything at the same time simultaneously because that would be very confusing for you guys. So, first up, the Dapper MDR strip, which is um, one of um, Velton's awesome offerings. Uh, this is built beautifully. You know, one of the things about the Velton pedals is that they are in metal chassis. They're built to a really nice spec. They feel great. You know, the switches are soft switches. You know, all the knobs are very, very tactile and stuff. Love that about it. You know, it's really important to me because you know, I'm a professional musician. I use this gear every day and I want to know that it's going to work tomorrow when I plug it in. And, you know, when you have plastic casing and stuff like that, things can break. Any who's. Uh, the MDR is basically modulation, delay, reverb. MDR. Yeah! <laughs> now the modulation um, section has a bunch of controls, level depth, rate, low and high, so that you can really tune in the, the tone that you want, which is a really nice touch for modulation, because usually you know you might have a tone knob and it kind of goes between kind of light and dark and type of tones and stuff like that. But here you can actually dial in the lows and highs exactly how you want them and balance them out. Um, now it has a bunch of modulations in here, nine different types of modulations. It has two types of chorus, it also has a flanger in there, and then it has two types of phaser, um, one being an orange phaser, based on the orange phaser, the other being a green phaser, based on the green phaser. <laughs> which is uh, the, the green phaser. I didn't know what it was, but it's, uh, it's actually a Boss uh, PH1. And um, also a rotor vibe on there, which is very, very cool. And um, then um, on the third block, you actually have a couple of tremulators, or tremulos. I like to call them tremulators, because <laughs> it sounds cool. And also a uh, vibrato on this as well, which is wonderful. And basically the first switch here, um, it uh, selects the type you're going to go for because you have uh, three different effects in each position and then you have the three positions to choose either the two choruses, one of the two choruses or the flanger. In position two you've got the two types of phases or the roto and in position three you've got the uh, tremolos and the vibrato as well self-intuitive and stuff. Also has a tap tempo so if you hold this button down and um, the light starts flashing and then you can tap your tempo in so that you can play along to the tempo of your band, your song, whatever you're recording to, which is what I did with uh, with this unit. I found, find it a fabulous, fabulous addition um, to, to the unit. Then you have a delay which has three types of delay. It has pure, analog and tape. Tape is always my favorite. Just because I love the sound of tape, how it works, the slight modulation in there and stuff like that. Uh, level, um, regeneration and time control on here. So you don't have a tone control, but you know what? All of them sound really, really good. Um, I used all of them in various guises on the track, um, which I'll kind of show you if I can remember what I used on what <laughs> at the end when I do the isolated tracks. Uh, but wonderful. Again, you've got the tap tempo function by holding down the um, button here. And then you have the reverb, uh, which uh, you have three types of reverb. You have a room, a hall, and a plate as well. And on that, you just have the reverb control and um, this headphone button, which I can't remember what it does. But it's got headphones on there. Yeah. Maybe it's for the headphone I put on the back. <laughs> I imagine so. On the back, really simple. It's got an input and output and you've got the uh, power socket there as well. It takes a regular um, negative center 9 volt um, power supply. Wonderful piece of gear. I was able to squeeze so, so, so many sounds out of this and it created that vibe. And I've specifically wanted to do 
that style of track because I thought the modulations would work just perfectly and they did it just worked really really well and you know the reverbs are very lush sounding the delays are very very cool sounding as well so that's the first piece of gear now we come on to the uh, Velton Coral mod which actually expanded my palette of um, modulations this actually has 16 different types of modulations in there. Everything from our courses to uh, Vibe it has something called Detune on there, which slightly detunes the, the, the strings, kind of gives a chorus effect. Um, uh, the S trem, the Q trem, the uh, Echo trem. Yeah, it has an echo and tremulator all built into one, which is, I really like that effect. It was very, very cool. I used that somewhere on the track. Um, a flanger on there, uh, jet flanger, phasers, uh, univibe, yeah, I love univibe, so I used that somewhere on the track, I think. Then you've got a couple of uh, wahs in there, an auto wah and a touch wah as well, uh, lo-fi, which kind of just de degrades your sound, which is actually really wonderful. I didn't use it on this track, but it's in there, and a vibrato as well. So this little monkey really did a great job. And you know what, you can actually do the tap tempo thing with this as well. Again, really, really intuitive to use, just three knobs and they control different parameters depending on which, um, which effect you're using at the time. All right, pedal number three is the Veilton Coral Verb 2. Um, this is another wonderful pedal, 16 different types of um, reverb in here. Everything from your standard plate, to your room, to your studio, to your sweep. Yeah, sooty and sweep. Do you remember those guys? <laughs> Some of you might, if you, you know, watch the show. Anyways, <laughs> um, uh, halls, it has a church in there, or two different types of church, spring reverb. It also has some modulated ones, so it has a mod reverb on there. It also has a cloud reverb, which is very cool. Very, very lush sounding, big sound there. Then it has a galaxy, yeah, which uh, adds another type of modulation to it as well. Undersea, which kind of modulates it in a different way. And the shimmer verb, and like I said, the sweep as well. Um, I use this in combination. So sometimes I was using the verb on the MDR, and sometimes on this if I wanted the bigger sound. So when you heard the ambient sounds, which were in the background of the track, they were actually done with this. And you know what, some of the um, uh, modulated reverbs like the sweep and also the, uh, the cloud verb and the galaxy, they work really well to create that big, big ambient sound, which just wafted in the background. Lovely, lovely pedal. Again, these are in a metal chassis. Um, really, really simple to use, wonderful to use, small form factor as well, so that you can fit them on your pod pedal board. Pedal board? Pedal board. <laughs> Quick mention for this guy as well. Uh, this is the Tube Engine by Veilton. This is basically uh, a take on the TS style pedal. I love my TS style pedals. If you've watched my channel, you know I've got a bunch of videos about the TS style um, pedals. Uh, just adore them. I'm a big fan, big, 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 big fan. And I am a really big fan of this because it sounds great and it reacts really, really well. Simple controls, volume, overdrive, but it also has a bass and a treble. So you can really, really dial in the tone that you want. And again, I use this on um, some of the overdriven tracks on the video, which you saw. So lovely little pedal, which you should check out. And these are like 30 bucks. Really? Yeah, 30 bucks, wonderful. And finale! <laughs> I know, I've got a lot to get through in this video, but I had to show you, man. <laughs> and finale, we have this wonderful Veilton amplifier. Yep, this is a 20 watt amp solid state. It's a really good sounding solid state amplifier. There's a really heavy unit as well, actually. This is about two pounds, um, which is about 900 grams in weight, depending on which side of the water you're, you're sitting on. Uh, really simple, uh, got a gain control, uh, low, mid, high, which is wonderful for this form factor. You know, to have that kind of tweakability on the EQ is fantastic, the volume and reverb as well. Now, this can do clean, 
and it can do overdrive as well and um, I think one or two of the overdrive um, sounds that you heard um, I can't remember if it was a single one or, or two that I did maybe I did two I actually used the overdrive from the from this and it sounded really really natural for a solid state unit it sounded fantastic really really beautiful um, got these little handles like it's a rack mount unit kind of on the fence about whether they're needed or not but but they kind of look cool yeah you know what you can chuck this in your gig bag as well which is fantastic on the back uh, you've got the uh, port for the speaker it can take an 8 or a 16 ohm speaker on there and um, that would probably change how much power it can output so um, you know you can check out the spec for that uh, also has a send and return for effects as well so you can actually put your modulation effects in the loop if you're using this live I basically just ran them into the front of the unit um, for, for this demo and also on the back you have a line out which has a cab simulation on there which was really really useful because I actually used that for the track for the recording I could run straight into my interface and then use um, cab impulse responses to actually just you know simulate my cabs um, I like to do it that way, even if there's a cab, emul a cab emulator on the unit. Do it numerous times. It also has an auxiliary in if you want to play your MP3s and stuff through it. Wonderfully built unit, again, metal chassis, really, really well, really tactile. And the knobs and everything are just wonderful. They, they feel really, really good. So there you go, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of, you know, wonderful gear from Velton. If I can carry it all, let's see if I can do this. Yay! I've got them all in my hand. I literally have a rig's worth of stuff here in my hands. It's crazy, isn't it? And it sounds fantastic. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Check out Velton on their website and um, online and stuff like that. And um, I am going to give you some isolated tracks as well so that you can hear all the individual sounds also. All right, guys, any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comments box below. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification so you know when new videos are going to be coming out. Please also give the video a thumbs up. I'm not going to do a thumbs up, otherwise I'm going to drop all of these pedals, which won't be good. <laughs> And also share it with your friends on social media, Facebook, Instagram, etc, etc. In the meantime, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I am going to play the isolated tracks and then the full track again. I loved doing this track. It was so, so wonderful and ethereal to do. And I created that sound. Yay! Yay for Veilton. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you later.